All right, so quick video here on this uh, AR-9 build that I did. This gun, um, just to kind of talk you guys through it first. Um, I built it a while ago, but I didn't get out till Memorial Day and run it. And I took it out twice and run all kinds of ammo through it. Um, brass, steel cased every different grain I could find um, I ran just regular nine uh, flat point hollow points every grain like I said I could find everything worked in any brand there was nothing factory we found that this gun would not run and that was my biggest um, hold up on ever wanting to build an AR-9 is the reliability issues they have. So, I'm kind of shocked and surprised, A, on that. I heard they could be picky and you kind of have to stick to a certain ammo. But so far this gun is definitely the exception to that. You can put anything you want basically in it factory-wise. Run it flawlessly. I think the only thing I haven't run is Subsonic yet through it. But I'll kind of give you a breakdown of the build. It is a Franken AR, so it's not something you just go in and buy. You would have to build it yourself and find all the components and parts. But I use the standard AR-15 receiver. This is a um, this is a Palmetto State Armory uh, multi lower that I bought stripped. It has Magpul pistol grip. It has the enhanced Magpul trigger guard. It does have a standard Magpul um, 556 AR-15 magazine. And I'll explain how it's running 9mm in a moment. And then the lower parts kit is just a um, Palmetto State Armory standard lower receiver parts kit. What makes this probably run smoothly and a little more functionally than just this lower section here is the magazine combination with the upper and the buffer tube and spring. Um, so I'll kind of get into that. I bought a uh, AR9. It was called a Viri upper. It was $160 for the complete upper. Um, there was no bolt carrier group or charging handle. Um, but it came the way you're pretty much seeing it except the sights and the the little stuff I put on the rail um, end up going with a uh, recoil technology bolt carrier group it's a 9 millimeter. it takes Glock or um, Colt type magazines and like I said, this is a um, a standard P mag and five five six. So it's not anything crazy, but it has an insert in here. I'll try to get this on film for you. Kind of see it there. It says five five six five four five. But on the inside, I gutted it and I bought a um, an insert. It's an endo mag. Um, I believe it's Mean Arms that makes them. And you essentially just take the floor plate off, take the guts out, slide the new one in, and it functions pretty well. I've not had anything misfeed or drop out that was a factory ammo through this thing at all. It's functioned everything like clean and flawlessly. Zero failures. Um, and as you can tell, I, I've fired quite a bit of rounds through it. There's like nowhere. And the bolt will lock back on the last round. So I'll keep the magazine out. The bolt's open so you can tell it's clear. We'll go from here with the magazine out. Um, 
beyond that. I bought just a standard uh, pistol buffer tube and then put um, a Trinity Force breech pistol brace on the back here. Inside, I bought a eight ounce um, buffer, which is, it's pretty heavy. I think a standard is like somewhere between two to three ounces typically. So I bought an eight ounce buffer tube, or buffer spring, and a spring to hold it essentially and, and cycle it. And it, the combination of this bolt carrier group, that heavy buffer, and that spring is essentially what causes everything to function and move pretty smooth. So I think if you stuck with those combinations in just about any 9mm, you do well. Can't guarantee it, but <laughs> so far my experience kind of dictates that. I went with just standard 45 degree um, iron sights. Nothing crazy. Put a reflex on there. And then I did use a skeletonized ambidextrous charging handle. And it does have a, a sling. So, well that's basically it. I did mark this magazine so I would know which one of them was the 9mm obviously. Because they all look the same now. Unless you like really look close. Uh, I only have it set for 10 rounds. I haven't taken the insert out yet to pull it out all the way to the full 30 rounds that it can hold. Probably do that here soon after I do some more testing to make sure everything keeps running smoothly. But I thought I'd just give like a breakdown of this gun, kind of what I did and bought. It was around, I think, 400 and between 400 and 500 dollars the way it's set up complete right here obviously you could do it a little different and make it a little less expensive but not a bad um firearm for the price definitely and uh you can see videos of this gun functioning i'll upload more of it functioning where i'm just literally dumping it and it's just running through everything you can put through it so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask or uh whatnot but i hope you enjoyed hope this helps out anybody who might be interested in making an ar9 i would just do some research about the heavy buffer the heavier spring and getting a really good bolt carrier group that handles everything and is pretty reliable and probably an upper that can handle all that the only Downside I can tell you about this gun is if you have the bolt drop forward and you try and close the dust cover for whatever reason it won't stay closed. Um, it will pop open and I think that's because of the size of the bolt. Um, but you're supposed to keep the bolt back with the magazine in there if the magazine has rounds in it. You're not supposed to drop forward unless you're ready to fire. And you're not supposed to put a magazine or insert a magazine that's converted like this with the bolt drop forward either you're supposed to make sure it's pulled back so those are the only drawbacks but other than that I mean this gun is like I said pretty cool I was shooting it out to 300 yards with a 10 by scope no problems like we were all dinging the target so it's pretty cool <laughs> and worth the investment especially if you're shooting a lot and you don't want to shoot a lot of uh 5.56 five, or 223 this is a great option so like I said if anyone has any questions feel free and leave a comment and I'll try and do my best